What is up what bros and welcome back to the channel. This video will be a brand new series in which I will share my personal tips and tutorials for some of the advanced skills in calisthenics workout. Some of them could easily be explained in a single video, but for the other movements that need more guidance, I will break it down into step by step based on their progressions. Such as for today's video, I will focus on sharing with you guys the steps to unlock the tuck planche. This will be the first milestone that you will need to achieve in order to continue your planche journey. Though it will be quite a challenge at first, I'm sure that with the right training techniques and exercises, you will be able to get more and more comfortable with the skill in no time. And to do so, I've concluded a 3 steps process that will not only help you to unlock the tuck planche, but you will also understand more about how the planche works so you will be able to make progress faster. Ok, let's get right into it. First of all, let's gain our knowledge a bit about the planche, and we'll also be going through the requirements for the workout. To do the planche, you will first start at the push-up, and then you will lean forward until your body is lifted off the ground. And when you are in this position, you are basically doing the planche hold. Well, that is the planche definition, and I am 99.9% .9 sure that you won't be able to do the planche with this way at first. So there will be other techniques that you will know in a bit to help you get more familiar with the planche. But first, you will notice that when we are doing the skill, the muscle groups that are working the most are your entire arm strength, then we have your shoulders, also the core strength, and finally it's your wrists and hands which are currently holding your entire body weight. Therefore, to know that you are strong enough for the workout, I would recommend you first be able to do at least 15 to 20 reps of push-ups, 10 reps of dips, and also 10 reps of pull-ups. The push-up will support you with building your arm strength, the dips will focus more on your shoulders, and though the pull-up isn't that related, it will also help you increase your biceps and allow you to get used to working out with your whole body weight. So that will be the requirements for the planche, but if you miss out the next thing, then I'm sure that your planche progress will be decreased significantly. The reason is that the planche training will require a lot of strength, and it is also one of the hardest movements to do in bodyweight training. So if you don't have enough preparation, you will easily get injured and won't be able to follow your training consistently. So for the warm-up, you should focus the most on your wrists and hands, since they will be the body parts that bear your entire body weight. After that, you can go for some scapular push-up, so your upper body will be more flexible for the upcoming exercises. And now we'll come to the workout routine that you should focus on to unlock the top planche. For this step, I will divide it into two parts. The first will be the fundamental exercises for the planche training overall, and the second one will be the most important movement that will help you to do the top planche. First of all, there are two main fundamental exercises for the planche, which will be the planche lean hold and the pseudo push-up. To do the planche lean hold, you will simply start at the push-up position, then always rotate your hands through an angle like this so you will be able to avoid wrist pain when doing the movement. After that, you will lean forward as far as possible and try to maintain your body in that position. The same step will be applied to the pseudo push-up, but now instead of holding, you will do the push-up movements. The reason why this too will be the foundation of the workout is that the planche lean hold will allow you to know what holding the planche will be like, and the pseudo push-up will focus on building the strength and the muscle groups that will be necessary for the planche training. Therefore, I would highly suggest you stick with them throughout your whole planche journey, not just when you have unlocked the top planche, but until you can do the final progression which is the full planche hold. Also, keep in mind that to increase the training effects, you should focus on the quality of the movement rather than how much you can do it. Therefore, to fully master the solo push-up and the planche lean hold, there are three goals that you will need to achieve. First is to lean until your hands reach your waistline. Second is to push your back all the way up into the protracted form. And this is also the reason why we warm up with the scapular push-up. Finally, is to maintain your hands in the same position and your arms straight for both movements. Don't worry if you can't follow the exercises with the 3 goals right away, because it also took me a lot of training time to be able to do them. And rather than forcing your body to achieve these goals as fast as possible, you should instead take it easy and just lean to the point where you feel it is the most comfortable. Once you have gotten used to it, you can gradually lean more and more forward until you reach the waistline. This goes what I did to master the pseudo push-up and the planche lean hold. I let set a goal of 10 reps and 10 seconds hold with 3 to 5 sets of training for the two movements. 
Next up will be the movement that will focus on helping you unlock the tuck planche the most, and it is going to be the tuck planche pumps. As I mentioned above, it will be challenging for you guys if you try to lean forward until your body is off the ground. Therefore, the tuck planche pumps will reduce the strength needed to get yourself into the planche hold, and it will also support you to know what doing the tuck planche will be like. To do the exercise, you will start at a position like this on the floor. Then you will use all of your strength to simply push your body up like this, and try your best to go up as high as you can and will repeat it for 10 repetitions. At first, you will notice that you won't have much control over your body, and it will basically fall down to the floor right away. However, the key is to train with it as much as possible, and also by combining it with the fundamental exercises, you will eventually reach a point where you can push your body up and hold it longer and longer until it becomes the top planche. With that, these are the three main exercises that will support you unlock the first planche progression. And during my top planche workout, this was also the step that I stopped at, which I only focused on doing the three movements and no further extra exercises. That was one of the reasons why my progress was a bit slow. So for the last part of the video, I will share with you guys some training tips that will help you do the top planche faster. The first step is to train with some high surface equipment, such as the parallettes and the dip bar. Especially when you train with the dip bar, you will have much more space and momentum to easily get yourself into the planche hold. Your hand grip when using equipment will also give you an advantage, which is that your wrist will now be able to move around much more easily to find your balance. So when you have gotten comfortable with the three main exercises, you can try out these three exercises next. So because of the reason that I only focused on the three main movements, I totally forgot about the basic exercises as well, which means that my fundamental strength was not improved at all to support my planche workout. So since you shouldn't train the planche every day anyway, on the other days of the week, you should continue to work with the basic workout, such as the push-ups, pull-ups, and some abs exercises. Also, the ideal workout day for the planche would be around 2 to 3 times a week, and make sure to have at least a rest day so your body will have time to heal and recover. And finally, is to find a way to follow your training consistently. Because if today you've got the motivation to work out, but not the next day, you will hardly make any progress at all. Therefore, what I would suggest you do is to not force yourself to work out, but rather just go with the flow. Try to find the time in the day when you're free so you can make that your daily workout routine. Even if it's just 10 to 15 minutes, you're still making progress rather than not doing anything at all. The important thing is to find the joy during your journey, because by that, you can make it become a fun experience and also warm your habits easier. With that, I've shared with you guys some tips and the steps to do the top planche. This could be only the first part of our planche journey, and for the next one, I will talk about the second planche progression, which could be the advanced top planche. So before the next part comes out, Make sure to check out this video where I share the three things I learned from my planche journey. And if you find this video helpful, then a like and subscribe could be super appreciated. Well then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay workout. We'll see you in the next one.